on my way. Everything's... Oh wait, we're going to Brick Island. I had some spare time finally, and I decided my Brick Island City needed a mock. And this is my own creation, hence mock that I wanted to put in the city along with the Lego modules. I'm always putting in Lego modules, maybe customizing them a little bit, but this one's built from the ground up or the base plate up. Let's start down on the bottom here. We have a few people walking by the sidewalk checking out this building, which you can see is for sale. There is a little for sale sign over here. And we have Fick and Brick sitting here on the stoop. He's, I think he might be interested in moving in. But I just started creating this, actually built the stairs and the foundation first. There is a cement foundation and then some accent pieces of dark bluish gray. But what I like about this is that it was just a, kind of a simple build. Got black windows here, which do need window panes, which I happened to find some on my table just recently, so maybe I can start popping those in at one point. But it's a very modular building. I added the awning just to add some character to the building because it just looked a little plain without it. It does just pop off, and I could change out the awning for festivities, perhaps different seasons. I could put a Christmas-inspired awning up there, but for now we have this nice, clear, see-through one. Like I said, I made it modular. The floors come off as well as the roof comes off. There is a little bit of decorative ornate fencing up here on the roof as well as the garden. I'm still deciding what I want to put up here. I'm probably going to put something goofy up here instead of just, you know, plain old boring garden type stuff. There's a chicken hanging out up there for some reason. You can see how the roof comes off. It's all built just a lot like the modulars where we have tiles and a few places for clutch power, as they call it. And here is the third floor apartment. It's bare inside. We'll check it out in a second. And as you, if I'm careful enough, I can pull this one off. Floor number two. The porches are attached just by a couple inverted slope pieces here. So they actually just pop off really easily. They're not that secure. But no one's touching the house in the city, so I'm not too worried about it. And these guys, as long as they don't put too much weight up there, they're not falling off. I think that's Brick Smith up on the third floor porch, so he's got to be a little careful. Move down to the next floor. And the awning is attached to this part, so that stays with that. And then we're down on the first floor. And again, there's nothing on the inside. But that's open to the person that purchases this wonderful condo set up here in the city. You may notice that there are no stairs connecting the floors, but it's Lego Town. And after watching the Lego movies and seeing how they just jump from floor to floor or fly places or whatever, they'll figure out a way to get from floor to floor. Maybe they'll make their own hole or elevator or spiral staircase inside. Here's the rooftop I was talking about. And so the inside doesn't have much in it right now. Maybe a rooftop pool, not sure. I did want to create some sort of intricate edging here. And most of, and are all of the Lego modulars do have some sort of ornate rooftops. And that's what I was going with. I made my own design. I might change out these grill pieces here for something else. I just didn't have the pieces that I was looking for at the time. But I have a few ideas to change it out. But you get the picture that it does go all the way around with this inverted slopes and just creating a nice intricate rooftop. You will see that this side does not. And the last part of this segment, I'll tell you why. And lastly, before we put this in the city, I have a few more things I wanted to show you. If you notice here around the windows, there's a nice little ledging detail. And at the top of the window, we have these little jet outs. So I did do that on three sides. We have it in the front, we have it on the left side, and in the back. But I left that out purposely on this side. A lot of the LEGO modules have no windows on both sides of the building unless they're a corner setup. So this is not a corner setup per se, it's a more of a end of the street setup. So kind of, I guess it would be a corner or an alleyway next to it. Something like that. I just didn't want to have it on, on all four sides and then not be able to butt this up against another building and have to have space on both sides. So that's why I did that. And the last thing I forgot to mention was, as you can see as well, these are nice full-size windows. When you get to the top floor, we have this little more intricate architecture detail of the arched windows. I happen to have this color arch for some reason. I'm not sure where it came from, but I thought it fit perfectly with this. And actually, now that I think of it, I think it came from those Lego box sets from, that I bought during Christmas time. They were $20 for the 900 pieces. So I think they might have been in there. Anyway, it worked out well, and now we're gonna go put this in Brick Island. Got the building over here in the city, and I'm about to set it in place, and I just realized, look over here, this whole wall that you're most likely never gonna see is all actual one by two masonry bricks. It's kind of a waste of masonry bricks. So I'm probably gonna change these out with just what we'll call just filler pieces, junk pieces. They're not junk, because 
they're usable pieces. There's nothing that you can. It's just a waste of these nice bricks here, and a kind of waste of money if you think about it. So I'm gonna slide this in place here and see how it looks. I did notice that it's set back a little bit from the building next to it, and that's due to the fact that I made this grand staircase here. It's a little bit deeper because I wanted a nice deep staircase. Now, a few people mentioned that this building reminded them a lot of Sesame Street, and as I was building it, I guess it did too, especially when I added the green fencing in it. I did some polling on Facebook and asked people if they liked the awning, green awning or a clear awning. And if you check back to the beginning of this video, you may hear me singing a little bit of what this building reminded people of. I do have a little green trash can as a suggestion in the front of the building, which you can't see here, but possibly I'll show it in a later episode. And if I could find a Lego Oscar the Grouch, I'll put him in there. I don't know if anybody's made a mock one. If you have made a mock one or you know someone that has, I'll do my Google search and check it out. But in the meantime, I appreciate you watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Don't forget to check us out on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube and Twitter at Built From Bricks, as well as our monthly live stream, which will be held on the third Thursdays of each month at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I hope to see you guys there. I had a few comments of people asking about the live stream. So thanks for watching. What have you built today? And here's a few things that... Nah!